morning, everybody. Uh, I'm Jeremy Wagner. I'm a student intern here at the University of the Fraser Valley. So while today promises to facilitate cross-cutting discussions surrounding our urban food systems globally, um, one piece of this event that I'm incredibly grateful to have been a, a humble part of is the undergraduate research that UFP students have been conducting in East Africa. UFP's partnership with the Queen Elizabeth II Diamond Jubilee Scholarship Program, or QES, uh, is giving undergraduate students world-class learning opportunities in East Africa through funding research on food security and food system sustainability. So first, I would like to begin by acknowledging that we're here on the unceded uh, traditional territory of the Stalo peoples, and it also acknowledge, especially our closest neighbors, the Matsqui and the Sumas uh, First Nations. And the Stalo have an intrinsic relationship with Sokh Tumukh, the, the sacred land. And we express our gratitude and our respect for the honor of living and working in this territory. I am so grateful, Dr. Uwiti, Dr. Krush, and the many other people who have come here from around the world, from Europe, from universities, Canada. So grateful to the Aga Khan Foundation, so grateful to the Scholars Program that's enabled us to, to share right here in the heart of Abbotsford a very important conversation. It's a pleasure to be here and uh, I'd like to say at the very beginning how grateful we are for the partnership with the uh, University of Fraser Valley and uh, all the good work that your amazing students have done with us over the last two years. I would like to speak briefly this morning about really the context of um, what I think is an interesting intersection between food and cities, but what I think is harnessing Africa's urban moment. Because the scale and pace of urbanization in Africa uh, is both unprecedented and I dare say that it presents a very unique moment which I think is Africa's urban moment. And I think in many ways it presents a unique opportunity for Africa to, to begin to think anew. And that idea that food security is a rural issue has been perpetuated in the sustainable growth of goals. And unfortunately, unless something drastic has to happen, it seems likely to me to determine what kinds of interventions are seen as important over the next two decades. And imagine what Canada could do for the rest of the world. A multilateral approach that looks at insecurity and sees the solutions can be found within the countries themselves and they rally the people around to create a, a diverse and rich environment where we can overcome food insecurity. Food security is the goal. Food sovereignty is a way to get there. Food security is often viewed as a national security issue supply food at national levels and economic independence. Food sovereignty is about putting that control over food in the hands of people instead of governments and corporations. The topic is on uh, climate change and whether it has an impact on food security. In, in fact, I have to start by saying climate change has both negative and positive impacts to food security. What I am saying is that we need to increase the use of technology and in particular mobile phones. I'm also saying that we need to, that how we use it for education is important, especially in support of formal and non-formal learning. And the non-formal learning in the context of agriculture and food sustainability is very critical. But now there is a growing recognition that policy that women's role is essential to food, food and nutritional security. Such policy tend to focus on increasing productive and economic cap uh, capacity. 
This is only partial of the solution. Failing to address the enriched gender inequality that prevent many women and girls from living a fulfilled life, free from hunger and poverty and discrimination. We really can't talk about food systems and food security if we don't talk about the land base. So if we're looking at the land base, what are some of the challenges? And the challenges globally, challenges locally, there's a lot of similar themes, just maybe the scale shifts slightly.